every week, every week, every service I would have. And God said, they, they're not catching the first one. But you're giving them something different every time you get the pool. They're not, they're not keeping up. So I slow down and just stay on one thing so that you can catch up because you know some of us are working this stuff. Yes, sir. So we 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 we're, we're trying to you know keep it going because we're we're in that Isaiah forty four and three. Please vibrate. That Isaiah forty four and three says, "I will pour." water on a man that is thirsty. When you're really adamant about growing your life, you will not be lackadaisical. The Bible says laziness leads to poverty. You, you will not allow yourself to sit around and be passive, mediocre, that won't even be an option for you. You 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 could you man, it would make your skin itch. You'll know that I'm supposed to be further than this. You you'll know that I'm missing something. Of uh, and Corinthians, Paul told the people to examine yourself. People won't take time. They want you to keep telling them, but they don't want to examine themselves. You know, technically, you really know what your problem is, but you won't face it. A lot of people won't face it. You conquer by confronting. So if I know something is wrong here, things aren't working out the way they should be. I, I, can't, I can't get ahead in life. I gotta know God is not my problem. Because if he tell me I'm created in his image, like himself, I've been united back to him and now one spirit with him. He tells me Christ lives in me. He tells me uh, the same work that he did, I would also do and greater. And, and I'm not seeing nothing. I got to examine where am I missing it. And I can guarantee you Church isn't the problem. Amen. The Bible ain't the problem. Preach ain't the problem. You the problem. And 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 I, I told somebody today, I said, you can always tell a person that's really working on themselves. You can always tell. They don't have to say anything. You, you can just look at them and, and see progress, little steps, little steps. You, you will see it. it. It won't be passive where they're going year after year after year after year. Your shouting in church don't say you're growing. Your quote in scripture don't say you're growing. The, the, the Bible says in the book of James, he says, be not a hearer only, but a doer of the word. Uh, Colossians tell us that, that we're living an empowered life. The king, no, no, it's not Colossians, it's uh, 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 2 Corinthians 4 and 20. That you, you are living an empowered life. You, the, the kingdom of God is not a lot of talk but power, another translation said. So what does this mean? You are a powerful spirit being. But when we, I see all the time, if you're victimized within your own self, you have surrendered your power. You can be good at everything else, but when it comes to you, you can't get nothing done. You're very educated. But when it comes to your real life, you can't get through anything because you're so more focused on the outside of you than you are the inside of you. Working on the inside of you require you to separate and spend time by yourself. I tell people, 
Take an hour a day and empower, empower yourself. One hour. Now I mean laid out somewhere. I'm praying for an hour. No, because you did that and you didn't get nothing. You fell asleep and all that stuff, snoring and all that. I was in a prayer meeting, there was so much snoring going on. I said, I thought this was a prayer meeting. Everybody laid out and all of a sudden you heard loud. I'm like, what in the world? I thought this was a prayer meeting. You see, no, it's sleepy time. And see, I was in prayer meeting. You know? I'm confused. You see, that's why none of that stuff worked for me today. It's okay, y'all that do it, I have nothing against you. Okay? Understand what T.I. said. Have nothing, just, but it don't work for me. If I'm going to spend an hour of power, I'm going to empower that hour with, with, with some education, no knowledge on myself. I'm going to put on some podcasts. I'm going to put on some videos. I'm going to have me some audio. I'm going to have me some decree sheets. And I'm going to take me an hour and build myself up. I'm going to put some tongues in there. And I'm going to take this out. I'm going to have all that impacted in this one hour and do it every day. A person that do that cannot remain the same. Because you're going to start liking it. Because you're being told stuff that you never knew about you. And you're going to start looking at your life differently. And you're going to say, hey, I'm rising up out the grave. I have been resurrected. And you, you would do it so you would not let anything or anybody come along and pull you back. I don't care how familiar it is. You would be like, mm -mm, I already tried that. That didn't work. You would hear certain songs and be like, mm -mm, I, ain't, I, I ain't singing that. But I was falling out on that and then I still got up broke, sick, busted, and disgusted. Y'all don't hear me. Yeah. See, I'm going to tell you the truth. You come before me, I, I'm going to tell you the reality because there's too much of emotion going on and, 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 and we walk around here with a jacked up life. Then we try to tell people how great God is then they looking at us mm -hmm. with the hand out. Mm -hmm. You don't have any, but I want to tell you about God. Anybody that you got to stick a hand out to, don't try to tell them about God. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Because, because you're going to try to share how wonderful and great your God is, and they're going to be trying to figure out why you're not being provided for. Mm -hmm. Can't pay my rent. Can you, can you let me hold some to Friday? I got to give me some gas. You know, I came to church on field bishop, but I sure wanted to be here. I, I need you to let me hold 20 so I can get back home. Y'all don't like me. It doesn't matter where you start. But you got to know, you can't stay there. I may start here, but I don't finish here. You know, it's no way. It's no. Way. If I'm really taking what I'm being taught, and the Bible tells you to take what you're being taught, and and follow the faith of the one in front of you, He tells you what to do. He said the word in Romans ten eight. The word is not you, even in your mouth. And what is that word? That is the word of faith which we preach. And I'm preaching you straight faith. If you work this, he said nothing would be impossible to you. You see yourself advancing. You don't stop and take a break. No, there ain't no break. You don't put faith back up on the shelf because you got the car. You don't put it back up on the shelf because you got a job. You don't put it back up on the shelf because they gave you a stimulus. You don't put it back up on the shelf. Y'all catch me now. Because you got a house. Or you started a business. No, no, no. You got to keep it working because I got to go to the next phase. And to the next phase. And to the next phase. Because when you slow up, you're in neutral. And guess what happens in neutral? You start rolling back. 
and you'll find yourself back in a cycle that you were in before because you stopped growing. You got out of drive and took a pause in neutral. People say that's too hard. It's not hard. You make it complicated. Who wouldn't want to spend time to, to get to know the reality of their own self? Tell me who's, who, who wouldn't want that. Now, if you got those people in your ear, misery love company, you know, you got them kind of people in your ear, they, they, they're not going to let you grow. They're going to tell you that's wrong. They wanted to stone Jesus. I come on my shit. Because he called himself the son of God. They blasphemy. Jesus stopped them and said, wait a minute. Does it not say in your writings that you are God's? But yet you want to stone me because I say I'm the son of God? See, Jesus was confident in who he was. They didn't know who they were. And people that don't know who the Abbasid came. Oh, this stuff works, man. I'm sorry. Man. They will want to kill you. They gonna make you feel so bad that you are gonna be ashamed to ever say that again. They probably right. You know, I ain't no god. I ain't no king. That's what he wanted you to get. So that you will always remain beneath your privilege. He called you royalty, for God's sake. Why wouldn't you want your royalty? Who report you believe in? Well, we say that. But inside, who we really believe in? Because the proof is in the pudding. If, if I don't see... Faith without proof is a faith. You're going through a motion of something. And when reality hits, you don't know what to do. Because you never practice. You're lost. Can somebody help me? Because you're lost. You didn't practice. You didn't take time out to work on yourself. I had to tell my wife, I told my wife, I said, baby, I said, can I, can I take a few minutes of your time and just show you progressive faith without even knowing what you're doing? Amen. I thought about when we got married. Amen. I had zero, but I had a dream. Yeah. 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 The three, I said three things when I got in that house. Number one is to take complete Everything in this house paid for. Pay for the whole, everything in the house. Her paid for nothing. That was number one. Be the headship in that house. Number two, I wanted a child from her womb. Amen. Number three, I wanted a house that we got together, not her. Those were my first three requests when I got married. Guess what? All three of them came. I didn't even know what I was doing, but I had a dream. Y'all catching this? Yeah. See, you don't sit around, K Sara or I, I, I don't know. I didn't know what I was doing, but I said what my dream was. I said, God, if this going to be it, I want one child from her room, from her womb, with all my other kids. Because this going to be it. Ain't no more. It took me too hard to do this. So this is it. If this don't work, this is it. So I come in with them three things. It wasn't a year. Blank, blank. We moved out of the place she was in to a house. Y'all follow this. Those things got, and then it didn't stop. Just kept it moving. We were just going on and on and on and on. I'm like, shoot, that's working, okay? Let's keep it moving. Next. <laughs> See, you don't even have to truly understand it, but you got to have a goal. You got to have a dream. You, you got to know what you want, and you got to be adamant about it. You got to stick to it. You don't have to know the how, but you do got to know. 
what you want. 98%. Specialists say, come in their office. Don't know what they really want. They don't even know why they pay. They pay them to tell them what they want. But when they take you through the lessons and the sessions, what they do is they take the sessions to teach you about you. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm doing it for free. Yeah. Y'all understand that? Yeah. Because if you don't get confident about yourself, you can't grow. I don't care how much Jesus you got. <laughs> and you know it's been proved. Oh, I know I'm saying. They'll, they'll bite your neck. <laughs> Cut your throat. You tell them they I know I got the Holy Ghost. What you talking about? Shoot, shoot. Here, here come a coat. The bill. A honey. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, that. Oh, here come a honey. That a coat. The bill. But where's your proof? You want to prove the enemy wrong because he laughing at you. Right, but it's right. Jesus proved. And then John 14, 12, he told you, everything you saw me do, you can do it too. And greater. Amen. What's the problem? Amen. Unbelief. A lot of things that you're not accomplishing, a lot of things you don't have, is because you really don't believe you deserve it. Mm -hmm. Number two, you really don't believe you have it. Whatever you pray, believing you already received, you'll have. Not someday, one day. I got to have it right now. Whatever that is, I got to have it already before it show up. I got to praise God for it like I got it right now. And worry about the how. I'm in faith. That's my currency. Whatever I need that to be, that's what it is for this. Amen. That's the house. That's the car. That's the health. That's the bank account. Amen. That's the car note. That's the house note. That's the everything right there. I got to have that thing right now. I couldn't tell you this if we hadn't been working it. Without even knowing what we're doing. So when people tell me, They've been trying. I said, no, you haven't. Not if you've been here. You're not working the principles and you're not adamant about your life growth. You want me to keep telling you and you don't want to tell yourself. Well, you know, I don't think I'm worried. Well, you know what? Stay that way and be okay with it. Don't keep asking me to tell you if you're going to keep telling yourself you're not worthy of it. You don't deserve it. The husband, the wife. I got to have it right now. The one I want. Not selling for somebody else's tracks. Oh, y'all pray for me. I ain't selling. <laughs> if I know who I want. See, she, she, was, she, she was untouchable as far as me. She was too far. There's no way I could have her. But I wanted her. And she just don't see me like a little kid or something. <laughs> but I wanted her. I didn't have anything I presented. Then I'm too young. But I wanted her. <laughs> she didn't know this girl. <laughs> and she riding good, living good. I, I mean, I never touched that. For some reason, she stayed in that imprint. And it happened. Yeah. See, when you get the indent of the dream, it's there. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I'm pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pregnant with my dream. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to help y'all. Yeah. I'm pregnant with it. Yeah. That, that's what causes the heavens to move. You're responsible for that. Not God, because God ain't no man. People make him a man. He's not a man. Coming and going from somewhere. God is a spirit. 
And that same spirit lives in you and he's activated from you. That's why when you surrender power, you go into slavery and somebody else is walking all over you and, and running you because you don't know yourself. Amen. Now they have become your God. This has been done all through the church. I've seen it in the street. If they can get you broke down enough, they can own you. They get them boys out there, they get them girls out there, and they start calling them sons. Because they done broke them down and brought them in, cultivated them enough. That's mine. I don't care mom and daddy, whoever come up, that's mine. Because they done cultivated them. They done, man, I done been in the street. I know I was in church, but I left and I got deep in the street and I learned a whole lot of stuff while I was out there. Taught me, they taught me a lot of stuff, but it just wasn't my, my character. So certainly I just couldn't do to my character. I just could I didn't fit. But I was taught. And I'm glad they taught me because now I can teach others when I see that kind of stuff. Don't let people own you. Own your own mind. Because if they get your mind, they got your life. I don't care how you talk about the Lord. And shout and run all over the church. Speak in tongue. One phone call, you gone. It's done. All that you just did just went out the window. You don't own, you ain't owning yourself. You're not owning your truth. You gotta own your truth and stick to it. They accept you for who you are, or you keep moving. You're not going to own me. Get married. They don't own you. The two become one. We in agreement here. Ain't no slavery ship. You don't slave your wife. You don't slave your husband. Got him under your control. Trust issues. That ain't nothing. Keep them in a corner so you can see them. Nobody else can. <laughs> And you're locked up in a box. Amen. <laughs> in a cage. Got you chained up. You move when I tell you. Who is that? Get off of that. Get them out your, your, your roller desk. Get them off your phone. Give me your phone. They owning you. They got all kind of stuff in there. Lord help me. <laughs> they got all kinds of stuff going on with theirs, but you ain't got nothing. Because they own you. And that's where the devil do you. Take everything from you and run crazy controlling you. And you ain't got nothing. But that man say he ain't got no say so about it. That's not freedom. Amen. That's not peace. That's not happiness. That's not love. Amen. I don't know how I got there. Amen. But see, see, teach them to observe all things. Yeah. Yeah. I have to teach you to observe all things. We got young people that know. I have to teach them to observe all this stuff. So you ain't food with a little sweet talk. Right. Proof is in the pudding. <laughs> Prove. Don't y'all go on war when y'all go on this Don't put my name in the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> this is sad. I don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Get me out of here. This is teaching. Amen. He's teaching. If you're in there, you have to fix it. You can fix it. But you have to start with you, not the other person. Everything begins with you, not the other person. That's why you keep bumping heads, because you ain't working on you. You want you want to control them and, and make them change, but you ain't change. It's facts right there. I said the house is messed up because because I ain't changed. I said the church is messed up because I ain't changed. Because if I change, something's gonna give. 
because I'm going to have a whole new perspective. My atmosphere is going to shift and stuff is going to start happening. And they're not going to even know how or why it's happening. But it's coming because I'm changing myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. 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 Oh, yeah. You take time, the husband take time, wife take time, work on their set. Oh, we have a beautiful house. And neither one of us got to be trying to, trying to own and boss and control. We trust. We trust. I know you're going to do the right thing. I trust you. Y'all still here. Y'all don't need that. Thing. Don't put up the family, please. Amen. We work the thing properly. We wouldn't be struggling. He said nothing is supposed to hurt you. You shouldn't be struggling. You might start at the beginning struggling, but it don't take a year. And you're still struggling. And two and three and four and on and so on. I don't hit nobody's year. But if you're still in it and you've been there a period of time, you done missed. If you're still falling in these holes and alleys, and, and, and graveyards and dump yards, you done missed it somewhere. You're not secure enough in yourself. You should be secure enough within yourself. I shall decree a thing. I don't care what the thing is. I'm so confident that it shall be accomplished for me. He said it would. Look at verse 1. I'm, I'm gone, but I, I got some, some heat going on right now. <laughs> Just sing it out and, and, and get it right. Just get it right. That's all. Get it right. Don't keep going like that. Still struggling. I, I can't tell you last time I prayed for a bill to be paid. Because I know I can decree. I know I can declare and if I declare myself wealthy and successful every day, I don't have to worry about a meal getting paid. Amen. My whole subconscious nature is going to believe that I'm wealthy and successful. Yeah. So I ain't got to worry about a meal getting paid. How are you going to pray about something? Deuteronomy 8.18 told you, I gave you power to get wealth. So why are you praying for wealth? Mm -hmm. See, you miss it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was just hoping something come along, you know. You ain't on faith. You know what? I shot that whole book I did it. I had a bill I needed to pay $600. I'm driving on my way to church. Well, actually, I was on my way to the bank. Then I was coming to the church because I had to get that money to pay this bill. And, I, and I'm driving. All of a sudden, it hit me. So wait a minute. God, I thank you that the $600 that I need is not coming from the bank. I have that money. And I'm not going to go to the I came to the church and somebody had me $700. Well, Jesus said, your faith your faith. If you don't furnish the faith, there ain't no miracle coming. I don't care how all this, you know, we got all this religious sayings. It ain't got nothing. We got religious sayings. And we say a lot of stuff. Why don't you talk your truth so you get some proof? I ain't use it up here religious sayings. Y'all keep your sayings. Oh, oh this, I, I, I'm glad. Yeah, I'm incredible. Because <laughs> I know you're trying to sound religious. Amen. I tell you, I'm blessed. Man, I'm so blessed, I can't stand myself. You ain't going to go that far. You, see, I can go that far because I believe it. Mm -hmm. I believe it. And nothing to do with flesh. It's all spirit. When you live from spirit, heaven don't have a problem with you talking like that. People do. 
And the enemy used people to keep you down so you don't talk like that. You don't like what I said? Don't ask me. You asked me. So I told you. I ain't going to back down. I'm a champion, baby. I triumph always in all things. I am more than a conqueror. You're going to hear this. I can do all things. So the struggle is over when I believe I can do. Because believe it or not, the spirit in you is I am. Whatever you say after that, you become. Whether it's right or wrong. Oh, I am. I said, why are you saying that? Well, you know, I just got to, you know, I just got to tell like it is. Okay. Let's see how that works for you. Two weeks later, they still saying, And they won't pray. What you want to pray for? And you're going to keep saying, you sit. They don't work. They don't match. I really say, I am healed. I am total health. I am total wellness. Your body works off of signals from the brain. Like a pill. The pill isn't healing. The pill sends a signal to the brain that goes to the pain to block it. So that you don't feel the pain. Your words will send a signal to your brain. Shut up, I kid. At first, you done told it the other for so long, it don't really leave you. But if you keep on saying, 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 keep on saying don't give in. Because it's trying to get hard. Oh, it's hurt. Well, shut up. Keep on saying, oh, God, you are so healed. Leads you perfectly well. And you got tears in your eyes. Oh, you total help. Thank you, God, for the healing of my knees and my legs, my back, my neck, and my back. It's painful, but I gotta say the right words. Because I'm changing my beliefs. And if I keep saying I'm struggling, it ain't gonna change. Ain't nothing working for me, it ain't gonna change, baby. And everything in your subconscious nature believe you. So now you gotta change that BS. Belief system. Let me help y'all out. You got to change it. And you got to say it enough so what was there at first can get out. Pack your bags and get out. You don't live here. You'll start progressing. And progressing. And progressing. And progressing. You'll be looking back and saying, my God, I can't tell you how we get this far. You were so tuned in. <laughs> oh, my God. You should be able to look back and see. Tell a drug addict, well, I do. Some other people tell them something else. But I tell them, take one day, celebrate. The next day, celebrate. The next day, after a while, it's going to be a month. It's going to be six months. It's going to be a year. And you're going to look back and be like, I can't believe I made it. But if you start looking way in the future, you're going back because it's going to get overwhelming. You got to take everything moment by moment. You got to be present in the moment. And you got to be there 
and whatever is needed in that picture, you got to put it right there, right now, moment by moment, day by day. The bill ain't due for 20 days. Don't go crazy. It ain't 20 days yet. You done lost it when you got the bill. I don't know how I'm... When you hear that mess, talk. There's always an opposite for every opposition. But are you willing to talk? I'm speaking my truth. This is my faith. That thing I told you is already taken care of. It is paid and paid in full. And I got plenty left over. And the money just keeps coming. And it 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 keeps coming. Keeps coming. Keeps coming. That's why you have made so many payments. You, you don't even know how it was happening. Well, you put yourself and centered yourself into your faith where stuff was just happening. And you didn't sit there and spend time looking at it like, oh, um, oh, oh. No, you put faith in it. God, I thank you. <laughs> oh, that's all taken care of. It's all paid. Person talk like that, nothing. You shouldn't be still running around. Jesus. Why couldn't we cast them out? Why couldn't we do that? Shouldn't still be saying that. Well, could you tell me how to do it? I've been telling you for years. You're not trying to learn. Person keep going, I'm talking about, would you tell me how, would you, I already been doing that. You're not applying the principle. So you keep coming back now, I, listen, listen, I, I am tired of casting pearl before swine. Give me some people that really want it. There's a person that's teachable, you don't have to keep telling them over and over and over. Give them a fish, you feed them for a day. Teach them how to fish, you'll feed them for a lifetime. They won't have to come back and, and get you to tell them again. Because I've been so adamant, I'm taking what you taught me, and I'm furthering my growth from that place. I'm not going to need you to tell me. School's out. Stop studying the subject. Didn't you read that scripture before I come out of here? See, we want to stay in the subject without, without putting it to work and living it. We put on a front. People come around me, all of a sudden they want to start trying to talk right. Can't say seven any words because they know, you know, bitch, you're going to check me. But you know what? You ain't got to check you got to do that. Talk like you talk all the time. Because that little time you're in front of me trying to check what you say, it really, listen, your life is the one that stays, not mine. Because I'm changing my world. And if you only change because I came up, then, then you're wasting time. You're trying to put on the front for me. Don't put no front on for me. This is your life. I have great concern for people. I have passion for people's growth in life. That's why I pour out and exhaust myself like I do because I'm passionate about people getting up and growing their life. If I go from zero, you will too, but you, you got to really want it. So why well, you started with zero? You shouldn't stay a zero. But if you don't work on it, you'll be minus. And more minuses. And needed people need people. Because I don't want to work on me. And people are not going to let you ride them. They help for so long that they turn and say, you know what, there's nothing else I can do for you. Because you're not putting in the work. You're not applying yourself. The only way you know it's working is when the test and trial come. When that pressure hit, you will find out exactly where you are. And it hit me so hard, I, I, I walked through my house. I said, wait a minute. This ain't supposed to be happening. I rebuke you, whatever you are. I am a prosperous soul. Get out of here. I was mad. I didn't run around and go 
find nobody for no petty sympathy, compromise. I knew something was wrong. Now I stomp my foot and I start hollering. Wait a minute! Whatever this is, get out! I'm a prosperous soul! And I don't know what happened. <laughs> but stuff showed up. When that's what you do when you're at it. You get an attitude, like somebody done crossed you, and all of a sudden you're taking off them earrings, and you're ready to go blow the skull, taking off them heels and stuff. Yeah. Hold my shoes, way out, way out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. See, if you get like that with your own self, you're broke, but you ain't mad enough at yourself. But you can talk about everybody else. Mad at everybody else, hate on everybody else, watching everybody else, so much you lose your own. I see people watching everybody. The bishop too. They watch everybody. Got their eyes on everybody. I see you. And I know you. Guess what? The, the devil, the devil lurked around Jesus the whole time he was here, trying to wait on a slip up. Watch him. Watch him. Trying to catch him. Sitting here right now, watch me like a hawk. What you looking for? Why are you watching? Like everything else. Come tell you about everybody in church. Tell you something about everybody in the church. But what about you? See, why are you doing that? The devil laughing at you. Because he know you ain't going nowhere. The Bible says, y'all get me out of here. I'm going home. The Bible says, the enemy is the accuser of the brethren. You the enemy. So I'm watching you. And if you don't let go of that spirit, you're going to die with it. Because I rebuke you. By the power of God invested in me. I don't play games with the devil. I see him. I know him. I watch him. Jesus had him at the dinner table. And he knew all the time what they plotted. He knew exactly where they were. But he ain't say nothing. You don't turn them loose, you'll die with it. I see God take care of stuff. I ain't had to put my hands on that at all. Didn't have to say nothing. Deal with it in the spirit. And let the angels do the work. You got one or two choices. You turn it loose. Or you die with it. See, you ain't got time for that. And you lose everything. You told everybody about the Lord. Oh, don't you see me? I'm in the room. And then all of a sudden, yeah, they're sitting looking at you. <laughs> and they, they, Joshua chapter 18, how long? How long? Y'all remember what he said in Joshua 18? Will you tumble around that mountain before going in and taking the land that God had given you? You and your ancestors. You're dangling around that mountain. And you think you're all right. There's a way that seemed right to me. But the end of it is that. Yeah. See, that's why I'm going through all that craziness. I let people say what they want to say. Because the enemy attacks people that's moving. Dogs don't bark at park cars. So anytime you're advancing in life, yeah, he's going to send little hymns to try to distract you. That's why I tell people, stop being distracted by mess. You know it's not you, don't join them. And try to have revenge. God said, vengeance is mine. I'll repay. Because see, the enemy wants you distracted. I got too much to lose to join a fool. So I'm going to have social media and everything. 
And I told Bill, I said, don't join that. Because he wants to distract. So he can take. I know y'all don't watch movies, but I do. And there's a movie called Focus. And he was teaching the woman, he said, when they touch you here, they take from you here. When they touch you here, they take from you here. See, this is how the enemy works. See, I, I, I get an analogy out of everything. I get a message out of it. If the enemy gets your focus over here, he take from you over here. Touch you back here, he can take from you up there. See, he's a trickster. He's a trickster. He deceives you. And if I can throw something out there and get you distracted, I can take and snatch everything you got. You'll give away your house, your car, your wife, your love, your keys, your deeds, everything. Money. Take it all. Dog, cat, fish, fish tank. Anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that that robber coming in Martin House. Took everything. And he thought it was a game. He gave the man everything. Gave jeans, watch, ring. Gave, gave the man everything. Get you distracted. You better hear this. Stop being distracted because he's trying to take from you. I'm getting upset with everybody because that's the moment he touched you here and took from you here. He got you so worked up, you're fired up. Now I'm taking everything. I just can't get over it good because I did need another day to get some more. Now it's a week, now it's a month. He said, thank you so much. Because there was a lot more in there I was trying to take, but I just thought you was going to come back, but you didn't. So let me go get the rest. <laughs> People have been upset with folk for years. And the devil snatching. The devil will always have a hold on a person that got anything against anybody. Because that person got you. They were controlling you. You ain't worth it to me. No, you're not worth it to me. I'm going to live my life. I am forgiven and I definitely forgive. Everybody. I love myself and I love everybody. No matter how you think about me, I love you. See, this is my part. I have, I have to love you to stay focused. You don't have to love me. I have to make sure I'm loving you. I have too much at stake. I don't want that presence to surmise because of some hatred or some prejudice or some division and confusion. Holy Spirit easily bound. And I don't want that. I want, I want to hear clearly. I don't want to be distracted. Move I don't supposed to make. I don't want to be making. I want meaningful connections. Yes. I want right relationships. Yes. Mm-hmm. Everything I put my hands to, I'm expecting it to prosper and succeed. Yes. I want the right people in my life, right people connected with me. Yes. And I want to know when the wrong one then showed up. I love people for where they are, but I know they don't have a plan of going anywhere. Mm-hmm. But I love them for where they are. Because at the end of the day, if they don't want to grow themselves, I can't make them grow. Can't make you grow. You got to want to grow yourself. Praise Jesus. You get to the place you own your truth. And you do you. From the reality of you. My daughter gave me a quote that she heard in her meditation. He said, when I own my divinity, I no longer was my enemy. I said, girl, you're going to hear that one again. I'm taking that. When I own my divinity, 
I'm no longer my own enemy. That was so profound. That's a sailor. You're your own enemy because you don't own your divinity, who you really are. You're really your own enemy. God bless you. That's enough. That's enough.